Nope. You said what? What did you say? He's not answering that. I think he's nervous. Like having no. a stage fright. <laughs> what did What did you say? You should have listened. I know. I was listening. I was, like, he said it sounded like you said something. He's just stage frighted, dude. Nope. <laughs> he and sounded like listened. you said. No, I listened. I just want. It just sounded like you might. I just want to confirm. <laughs> <laughs> you don't get to hear it a second time. I don't get to hear it a second My bad. My honest mistake. It is your bad. Listen, man, I didn't think it'd be that big of a deal, you know? I've been but leveling up my Pokemon. What's the really Odelio? Oh, You've been leveling up your Pokemon? Mm -hmm. I've been leveling up my Pokemon. That's awesome. He's been leveling up his Pokemon. More lovely a Pokemon. Right? More lovely, uh, yeah. Like five? <laughs> Damn. Damn. At least. At least. Ooh, at least, crazy. at least. I, I mean, I, I think it is. <laughs> a lot of balloon. Yes. <clears throat> I can't believe that's what I think it is. A water balloon. A water balloon. A water balloon. A water. Yeah. <laughs> a water. Oh, I should have gotten talkies to ruin the recording with my lips. Yeah, oh, yeah. Do that. Don't that's do such that. a good idea. Oh my god. Next time. Another good idea is welcoming our viewers to the podcast. What's up, guys? Hi, viewers. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the podcast. Hi, everyone. The podcast. The, the podcast. podcast. The only okay. one. <clears throat> okay. I thought of a name. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. That's... Okay. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. The Fard. <laughs> Bro, he got it. He fart. got it. We're not naming a podcast Fard. <laughs> okay, okay. Think about it like this. Jamie. What is it? <laughs> we're kind of like the yard, but we're fun. What if we so did the mm. fart? <laughs> That's sad. What if nah, we did? You got a point. What if hey, we Leland. did fart, but like fart stood for something? Hey, Leland and Tanner. What? Yeah. What's our clan tag? Uh, it's fart. Yeah, well, I was fart. saying, but like, what if <laughs> fart? That's <laughs> okay. I don't know about that. Uh, fun, awesome, retarded, retarded demons, reckless, yeah, retarded demons. reckless donkeys. That's the name. Nathan Far sent me a name suggestion like ten minutes ago. Yeah, I did. And he was like, "Oh, do the gentlemen or whatever." But Far I don't think that. Retarded. Oh, guys, functioning <laughs> autists. I don't know. About mm -hmm. that. That's a that's a bit false advertising because like I don't only half of us. <laughs> okay, you can't be in this then, Nathan. <laughs> what if we just named our podcast the, the Function? The Function. That, no, that the is function. something. That's something. If Gavin ain't in the Function, I don't want it. If Gavin ain't in the Function, I don't want it. Snaps my big slimy finger. Now that sounds like a podcast. Why do you always gotta make everything slimy? Why are your fingers oh, slimy? Yeah, so why are funny. your fingers slimy? He's, he's, Leland is just slimy. <laughs> That's it. He's just seemed to be I'm slime covered, I'm covered in a big layer of slime and slick at all times. It helps me get away from predators. Dude, it's, it's, it's like part of your survival. Don't be yeah. survived predators. That's, That's the only way he can survive. Hey, Leland. That's awesome. Yes, Gavin. Aren't uh, snails slimy as well? No, not nearly as they don't have the same type of slime. They have different slime. They have like slurtle slime. <laughs> my slime is way more powerful than any stupid snail out there. I don't know. Bro, don't even rival snails. You you know you can't take them. <clears throat> I'm thinking I might try and get a shiny crocano on my team in Pokemon. That's awesome. Gavin's gonna, Gavin's gonna get bored mid recording and start playing TikToks into the microphone. <laughs> don't worry, Pokemon. I don't can't do really get that. bored. Okay, uh, I guess I should explain what's going on here. Yeah, what, so, what's going on yeah. here? So basically, the we're reinventing the podcast here. Uh, the whole thing, really. Where there's gonna be like, what is there, like six of us? Seven of us? I don't know. Yeah, there's like, like six or seven of us. And army, I'm not we're just gonna have we're just have those we're just, that's seven of us and we'll just shuffle between three or four of us per episode and so we can just you know if I ever we if I ever need to record an episode I can just grab two random of my friends and be like yo let's go 
And, you know, we're going to be a yeah. little more organized, a little better. This is going to be the best thing that's ever happened to the internet. Mm-hmm. We've expanded its choices. Yeah, we I, we just don't know what it's named yet. I, it will come to something by the end of this, maybe. I think we're all through. We've been fart. throwing out ideas. I, I don't want to name it Fired. That's so. That's, uh, that's he kinda, so he's, awesome. He's kind of got the ideas. I, I he's got, got the uh, heart for it, but I don't know if he's got the idea down yet. Gavin literally has a big tumor in his brain telling him what to do. <laughs> I Gavin's think, control. I, he wears like a hat to hide a big tumor that controls his that. actions. I <laughs> he's <laughs> going to get angry at you. Gavin's getting ratatouille. <laughs> What's his name? I don't know. <laughs> you don't know. What do you call I, it? I, I, the womb. I don't remember. Like Theodore name. or something. Theodore. <laughs> they get Gavin's tumor. brother Theodore. T- tumor Tim. <laughs> don't call him Tumor Tim. I'll ask my mom. Which oh, I already have Tumor Terry. Him. Don't even. Don't even try to snip on Tumor Terry. <laughs> tumor. Terry. Now that's what I like to hear. That that's a little bit. He might appreciate like the uh, intelligence behind that one. Mm. That's a that's a real good name. I think I think he'd be happy that we uh, consider him human enough to name it all. Well, there, you think... still have tumor in there. It's like if you named like a Jewish person, like John Jew. He's not. Yeah, a something like that. Tim, exactly, that's what I'm saying. Tumor? Are you calling Jewish people tumors? I am. No, I didn't say that. I was just saying like They're... it's like it's like yeah, just naming like... him actually... based on a, on what he is. You know. That actually makes so much sense because if if Jews control Hollywood and the tumor controls Gavin, it's kind of similar. What are you it's talking about? Tumor. What the fuck mm-hmm. are you talking about? <laughs> people <laughs> under London really control the tea supply. I don't think exactly. it's Chalamet like is going to be in it's, office anymore. It's actually just like that. It's and how Canadians control. What, what do we control, boys? We control uh, the syrup intake. Moose. It flows through our grounds. We do control the syrup intake. We, we drill for syrup, like oil. That's true. We do do that. We do have the best syrup after all. Why do you think we use bobsleds? We need a lot more horsepower than any car can give us. Guys, they should call uh, bobsleds boob well. sleds. I think that'd be really funny. <laughs> that'd be awesome. <laughs> okay. Boobs. That'd be kind of sick. Uh, okay. So we do. Did we everyone come prepared with their own little uh, podcast topic list, guys? I actually did. Yeah, I actually I did too. That was a thing. Yeah, we're gonna stay. We're gonna be a little more organized this time. We have we're gonna have topics so that we actually have things to talk about. I mm-hmm. guess I'll start. What, what, what am I? What, I guess I'll just. We're actually recording this on April Fool's Day. Yeah, exactly. Oh the podcast's not God. actually getting released. It's not actually you've been happening. Fucking, you've been fooled, yeah. you, be- you bastard. I was actually thinking, I was thinking about it a lot yesterday, but I completely forgot to do it. I thought it was, I was going to record like a fake Fogcast episode where I just say that Nathan's late and then it's just an hour of silence and then upload that <laughs> today, but I forgot to. Damn. <laughs> you're two hours. It's, it's not too late. All man. of the lies. All of the lies. Do you guys, did you guys have any like horrible or like funny April Fool's? pranks that like your parents or any or like siblings pulled on you as a kid um none for april I, fools i got hit by a car once what <laughs> sick. For april, on april fools <laughs> yo get the dirt behind you dude behind <laughs> oh. they ramped into his room like a happy wheels what, what happened the is there a story <laughs> behind it or did it just <laughs> april fools <laughs> it was just april fools and that's the story of why Gavin's in a wheelchair. That's that's true. <laughs> what the fuck? For the listeners out there. What, for the, what for the, what's for them? Wait, who? There's someone who's listening. <laughs> I, I would hope Do no one's listening. Behind you. you guys know screamer videos? You know who you are. Oh god, did the screamer videos. Dude, I almost just dropped my knife. <laughs> Do you guys know about screamer videos? I think uh, we all know about it. The odd screamer. I didn't video. know about screaming videos until like 20 minutes ago. I actually ago. don't know. No. You Tanner, don't know? You, mean you didn't know, Tanner, you didn't know about screaming videos. You actually No, not until not me. until you and Alex showed it to me like 20 or 30 minutes there's, ago. There's genuinely no way. So it's that like you've it's never... like normal videos and then they get interrupted with like a scary image with like screaming. Oh yeah, I've seen those videos, yeah. It's literally a screamer. There's no way What's you don't that? know about scary Oh, those that is a screaming video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just didn't know it by name is what I mean. My bad. Yeah, yeah. I me mean neither. But it's pretty funny. He showed us. I I didn't know about the funny uh, South Park one. 
yeah, best of cousin the, Elvin. The, the yeah, best of cousin Elvin. Mm -hmm. hey, so everyone little... listening, go watch South Park Best of Cousin Elvin. It's on YouTube. The weirdest shit. You it, have to watch it. It's awesome. It's so, not even a uh, What do you guys think it's... about fishing? Fishing? Yeah. Uh, I've gone fishing a few times. I did a lot of fishing as a kid with my parents. And I actually mm -hmm. had, I had one of those oh, yeah, shitty... Did you have a fishing license back then? No, I didn't. Oh, but you... I, I had one of those, no. you know those small toy rods, like the button that you press to catch? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I had a, I had a Darth Vader one. <laughs> I had a Lightning McQueen one, and I went fishing with my parents, and I caught like a four-foot long fish with it. That's and, we, and, we, and we killed it and ate it for dinner. My dad always made me use like an actual <laughs> rod. <laughs> Your dad made you use an actual rod? Yeah, we would go down to Maple Lake. We, we were friends with like Jehovah's Witnesses back in the day, and... uh we went with our, our buddy Danny and uh, his family, and we went to Maple Lake, um, and I cast out my line, and I caught a rainbow trout, because that's mainly what's there. You can't, like, go in the water unless you're on, like, a... Oh, my God. You can't Sorry. go in the water unless you're on, like, a boat or, like, canoe or kayak, because there's a shit ton of leeches in that lake. That's oh, awesome. damn. I love putting leeches on my balls. <sighs> what? <laughs> so... Well, no, I, I kind of get it. Uh, hey, Leland. Yeah, Nathan? <laughs> You're good. Huh. Hey. That's not cool. Yeah, you can't sorry. bully him. Jeez. Just for being gay. Gavin, I'm really glad you're standing up for what's right. Uh, yeah, you're welcome. I think it's what's wrong, honestly. That's, I don't think that, I don't, hey, I don't actually. That's not cool. Yeah, Nathan. It's not like racism. <laughs> that's not, that's fucked up. Yeah, racism's awesome. That's what you want to say, but like... If only one gay person who knows how to read a book. What? Two gay people. What are you talking about? Who is? If you guys had to so, pay, pay what do you guys think about <laughs> about what? What do you guys think about fishing? <laughs> we, we just, just said, talked about fishing. Told... Oh shit! <laughs> if where would you like? What we would, would you what? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> hey Leland. Yes, Nathan. <laughs> You're good. Hey. <laughs> we're just we're nice. we're literally we're just going over. We're in a loop. I'm going over my notes, okay? <laughs> so, okay. Uh, guys, what do you guys think about echo chambers? I don't know. I don't know what that is, honestly. Mm. <laughs> That's are you gonna are you gonna explain it or? No, that uh, would make it not funny. What job would you guys have to be paid to do? Probably like Depends cleaning. Depends on how much I get paid. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Damn. I feel uh, like most jobs people would want to get paid for doing them. Yeah. I would. Uh, kill What's a job that like you wouldn't do no matter the pay? That's that, uh, that's what I meant to ask, but it came out wrong. <laughs> I would never be the guy who goes up on like giant cell phone towers and like repairs them ever. Even if they paid you like a million dollars an hour. No way. Probably like the very top of an oil rig. Oh. oh. I don't want my arms to get like taken off. Oh. Deep sea diver. D oh me too. Oh, that'd be I have sick. A I have a huge fear of the ocean. No, nah, I'd do that for like a dollar an hour. Nathan get paid in anything he catches down Nathan, there. No, Nathan's gonna go in there and he's gonna be like, oh, it's gonna be just like Subnautica, and he's gonna get ripped apart by a shark. <laughs> <laughs> Nathan's gonna find the creation. Dude, it's the Reaper level. <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna I can't die. Nathan, Nathan's gonna discover the Reaper Leviathan in real life. That's true. That's exciting. He is gonna do that. Uh, I would. I think Deep Sea Diver might be my answer. I don't know. I wouldn't do that because I have a really bad fear of the ocean and I hate being underwater in the ocean and I hate the ocean. Uh, I also probably wouldn't like be an underwater welder. Mm, fair enough. Because like that's kind of fucked up. I, I want to be a crime scene cleaner, dude. <laughs> you want to, yeah, you told us you want to be a, uh, I don't remember the actual official name of them. Well, there's two things. <laughs> There's two things? Yeah, well, there, it's like, I don't know. Plans. Yeah. Plans. Nathan just wants to be a murderer so we can be the guy who cleans up his own crime scene. That's true. Oh, yeah, true. 
He can clean up his own crime scenes after he finishes doing the murders at the uh, Krusty Krab. The evil murders. <laughs> would Bro, you guys have evil fingers like... together? <laughs> Dude, I would eat at the Krusty Krab if it was real. This guy has like 20 basket ones. Bro, the Krusty Krab probably has like such good burger. Oh my god, for sure. If everyone at Bikini Bottom loves them, then obviously they gotta be they gotta be good, right? Yeah, they're I mean, like, fish. they're also yeah, and like Squidward may hate the uh, crust. I don't remember the crusty burger. The okay, crabby the patty. Crabby patty. Oh my god, I actually break uh, What? My Krusty bad. Burger. Is the I thing might from have Simpsons? Like your life statuses, dude. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I that's couldn't really. I, 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 oh. I couldn't think of the second. I'm, I'm gonna sorry. Have to call someone. No, about it would, dude. It was an I'm, honest no, mistake. Have... It was an honest Tanner, mistake. You fucked up. It, you cal- it calmed down. It was an honest mistake. I would never diss the Krabby Patty. It was my bad. It was. My I already honest got three mistake. people in front of your house, Tanner. <laughs> that yeah, thing, I'm Krabs not letting them in. Don't Tanner. do not tell Mr. Krabs. Tanner. Anyway, the only person who hated the Krabby Patty was Squidward because he's a hater. No, he loves Krabby Patties. And he, and yeah, and, and he ended up loving it, but he didn't want to try it because he's a hater. He's such a hater, dude. Like he has such intense hater energy; it's kind of crazy. <clears throat> uh, I feel like, I feel like Leland could beat him in a hater competition. Maybe. <laughs> I enjoy things, though. You do yeah, really you like just hate me so much. Kevin, you give me. It will... <laughs> Why you're so mean to me all the time? Yeah, it's that's true. true. I did see Leland be like break Gavin's legs the other day. Yeah, <laughs> that that was just a kid. That was just a Leland shaped guy. Because... <laughs> Leland shaped guy. <laughs> no, I like. I remember. I walked up to Leland, Leland what are you doing here? Right? Okay, so uh, I'll explain the story. I was I was walking like I was downtown, walking by, and I saw Leland in front of an alleyway. He was sitting there. He was looking real suspicious, like, and he had like a baseball bat in his hand. I was like, Leland, what are you doing? And he's like, oh, shh, shh, he's coming. And I'm like, what? And Gavin, he's running. Gavin's running really fast down this alleyway. And then oh, Leland God. pops out, hits him right in the legs, and falls oh, over. He was just trying to catch a Pokemon in Pokemon Go, and he was running to Dude. get to the, to the gym. I don't, then, I don't doubt it. And then Leland laughed, and he said, yeah, that's what you get for running in my town. And I was like, whoa, <laughs> man. A... <laughs> no Holy. Way, Dude. No way, Guys, I'm, Dude. I'm starting to burst your bubble. I think that was my twin... Melvin, your twin. Mel- oh, Leland's. Oh, I forgot Leland has a twin brother named. Uh, what was the? I pretty. Isn't that Melvin? No, no, it's Bev. It's Spiven, isn't it? Spivel. 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 Forgot about Spivel. Uh, editor, put a picture of Spivel on screen right now. <laughs> he actually looked a lot like Stevie from Smosh. No, he looks like <laughs> Le- He's a I twin. Friend. <laughs> He's Leland's twin brother. They look like the That's exact what same. Say. Leland looks exactly like Stevie from Smosh. Oh Editor, show a picture of Stevie like from Stevie Smosh and Leland. Smosh. He looks so like mean. Stevie from Smosh, dude. <laughs> this, is, this is a really fucked up, you know that? Stevie. Show a picture of Hitler. No, I'm not going to do <laughs> that. <laughs> Yeah, I was talking about the editor, not you. That, I am the editor. I'm the <laughs> editor, recorder, I'm the editor, I'm the like organizer. I'm dying. <laughs> editor, show, show a deca- decapitation video. <laughs> editor, every time, every time Leland speaks, just start putting, uh, like, start, like, the slowly wow. making it quieter, and then put, like, Subway <laughs> Surfers gameplay over top of Leland's camera. Yeah, make sure there's That's Subway Surfers gameplay put it, put it over his Leland's icon. Talking, That's really rude. <laughs> No, I think it's awesome. Like if we do like, something about it, then yeah. What are you gonna do about it, Leland? You don't. You don't. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Anyways, guys, what do you think about fishing? You already asked. We're us. not doing this. Stop again. trying to put us I'm in a loop, man. I'm not trying again. to do anything. You're conspiracizing against the wrong people, Tanner. I have 15 <laughs> people around your house right now. <laughs> is the only topics you had written down? Uh, Leland is gay and fishing. Fuck. Fuck! <laughs> like I got you. Uh, okay. I also had no, no, no. I have one more thing. Fuck. (laughs) I feel like you're lying. So what do you guys, uh, what do you guys think about Friends, huh? Like the show? Yeah, like the show. I've never watched it. Never seen an episode in my life. I remember my parents have watched it, and I've been around. I was like, wow, that's. Yeah. How are you doing, Gavin? Clapping. Yeah. And the one episode of the monkey. The monkey. I gotta think on the answer. That one's what did, pretty hard. Wait, what did you ask, Gavin? Um, I asked him how he was doing. Oh. Um. 
I had a Pepsi that was on my ground for like two weeks. All right, enough with the stories, dude. So what do you guys think about fish? Nathan just DM'd me a picture of the outside of my house. <laughs> no, I didn't. You did. Oh my god. That's fucked god. up, dude. You got me. Oh no. <laughs> oh, that sucks. Are you guys excited for the for the new Zelda? I, I actually am. am, yeah. I actually am really hot for it. Oh, yeah. Speaking of the new Zelda, um, I, on my SD card, I had two save files that were 100% of Breath of the Wild. My SD card fucking died. It's I dead, dude. dude. I think you're just lying. Fuck. I'm not. I, it's, I literally don't have any, th any progress in anything anymore. I think you're lying. Dude, it's all gone. That's insane. That's fucked up. I have it, I have it downloaded on the computer, but... Oh, yeah, I'm sure. It's called Nintendo. It's a full it called Nintendo. 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 Fucking... Oh, dude, if Nintendo announces the Nintendo sequel for the Switch, that'll actually be insane. Nintendo Dogs 4. But yeah, I got a I got a charger for my fat DS, so I'm able to play with my uh, Pokemon Ruby copy now. <laughs> That's awesome. Huge. Yeah, yeah, like one of the fat prototype ones, original. Yep. I had one of those as a kid, and I played a. Uh, was there? What did I play on it? I played the the new Super Mario Bros. DS on it. And then I remember I dropped it and it broke in half. <laughs> Awesome. My fr my friend had one of those chunky DS with a with like Spider Man on it, and I'm pretty sure like it was official. I I don't understand because like why would Nintendo ever partner with Spider Man? Oh, <laughs> I don't oh, think that was man. official. Well, there's not like bootleg DSs, are there? Uh, there are. Yeah, I think I've is. never I've never heard of that. Like, ever. there's a bootleg Let's for see. everything. Spider Man DS. Soldier Boy uh, exists. Oh, it's actually. just showing Spider-Man games for the DS because there's like a million of them. Yeah, but like he had this thing for the longest time. I could probably message. I could probably message him right now and ask him about the Spider-Man DS, and he'd know exactly what I'm talking about. Uh. So, uh, who do you guys think is the baddest Pokemon? I don't want to talk about this. I just don't <laughs> want to talk about this. Okay. <laughs> okay. I you don't get no, that. Ever heard of Gudra, dude? Hey, do not put Gudra there. Gudra's my favorite Pokemon. That's why it's your favorite. It's your favorite. Gudra's your favorite, your favorite, Gudra's Gudra's your favorite Pokemon. Uh, was it like a uh, Spider-Man movie 3DS? It might have been. Wait, was it a 3DS or DS? DS, just like a strict DS. I can't find anything about DS Lite or Fat DS. Like Fat. It's the weirdest shit. Uh, yeah, I can't. F I'm looking all the uh, Spider-Man DS. I can't find anything about it online. I gotta look this up too, cause because all that I'm shows really up is the games this. for Spider-Man. Yeah, I don't see. <laughs> this is it. <laughs> Did you find it? This is that, though, no, because that's not chunky. That's a 3DS as well. Yeah, that's a 3DS. Oh, look at it, though. That is pretty awesome. <laughs> I, I, as a kid, I had a... So, I had this uh, 3DS XL. Uh, you know this Mario and Luigi Dream Team 3DS? Yeah. yeah it was, yeah, like, yeah. silver with the golden characters on it. Came with a free copy of the game. Yeah. I had that as a kid. And then I was playing uh, Pokemon X and Y on it at my cousin's house. When I was <laughs> That's visiting. awesome, dude. I was playing on it. Uh, and I was in the middle of catching a Pokemon. Or no, I was actually, I'm wrong. I was playing Pokemon Red, the original, on it. And I was in the That's cave awesome. going to catch Moltres. And my cousin walked up to me and said, will you play with me? And I told him no. And then he smacked my DS out of my hand and it snapped oh, in half. Bro. So you killed him? Uh, no, I really wanted him to get in trouble, though. But none of my uh, parents or like any of the adults would get, get him in trouble. And, and which so, cousin was this? You should name drop him. Uh, I'm not going to. Is it because... the one we think it is? No, probably not. And so I, I was very upset, and I ended up beating, 
I had so I basically the top half broke, and so I only had the bottom half of the DS. Awesome. And so that was fucked up. <laughs> Do you still got and it? I don't. I I have my current DS, 3DS that doesn't work anymore. The screen doesn't work for some reason. Just one screen or both? Uh, both. They're just black. And I still have it. It just doesn't have a charger. The screen doesn't work. It's uh, yeah, it's it like a, it's like one of the, it's like a blue 3DS, one of those ones. Oh, nice. And you know, I actually uh, the <laughs> I got this 3DS because I traded my entire Pokemon card collection for the 3DS to my little cousin. Aww. And he took the deal. What an idiot. And you know what? Even after the deal, he wasn't upset, so I still got to keep it. That was my main concern. I was a little, I was, and I was like, I was like fucking like thirteen or twelve, maybe. Oh, why did it? Ah, fuck. And then I was scared that he was gonna like tell my mom that this happened, and then uh, he'd be upset about it, and then I'd have to give it back, and he'd have to give my stuff back. But he never gave a shit. That's so I just got there to keep go. it, and I still have it. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. You can. I I really wish it was still active. I'd love to go on my old 3DS. I would love to. That's awesome. It. Thanks, Kevin. What? Really awesome. what are you guys doing? What? What, what the eating? fuck? What He's eating? just hungry, dude. That's like a pie, but there's a, a skull in it. I'm not He's just putting hungry, it on the dude. Please no. Put that in the He's so hungry. The, I can see the, it in his eyes. The kid's face is like lopsided. What's wrong with him? <laughs> That's so funny. You can't judge. Dude, you know, the main thing I want <laughs> from my old DS, dude, is to just see my voice notes. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> And my yeah. photos. And my photo and video gallery. A lot of my voice notes were just me farting. <laughs> I would is that on your play. current 3DS that you still have? No, like my old blue one. Yeah. I had like a blue. Everyone had the blue one. Oh yeah. I have um pictures and videos of my sister's graduation on my 3DS. <laughs> I think I still have the SD card in this DS. That's I do. Sick. I do have still have the SD card in it. The I can pull card. all my games from it. Yeah, no. <laughs> I remember uh, when I was a kid, I had, I was, my dad stopped at uh, my auntie's house and I had to wait in the car. It was like eight mm -hmm. o'clock and I was, he was like, I'll be back in like five minutes, maybe a bit longer. Just wait in here and play on your DS. I was like, okay. And I got bored. So I started to have recording videos on my 3DS. That's one does. And yeah. And I was pretending that I was a YouTuber. Yeah. And I was like, That's what's rough. up guys? It's me. Nah, everyone's done that. I used to like, I used to play Super Mario 3D World on my Wii U with my 3DS, like recording it, <laughs> and I was like talking with my friend, like Let's Players, and it was the best thing ever. It's probably still on it, honestly. Oh, dude, this reminds me of something else when I was a kid. So as a kid, uh, I, on my 3DS, I got Sonic Lost World for the 3DS, and in that game, there's a soundtrack option where you can just listen to songs from the soundtrack. Mm -hmm. And um, I didn't have a phone at this time because I was a little kid. And my yeah. dad asked if I wanted the aux cord. But <laughs> I didn't have a phone. So I plugged that shit into my 3DS and played the Sonic Lost World soundtrack through my 3DS on the aux. I did the exact same thing in a minivan with my family when we were getting McDonald's, but with the <laughs> uh, Dream Team sound box. That's hype, that's hype. That's fire. And everybody liked the like final boss music. <laughs> It was so funny. It reminds me of something about Sonic Lost World. Um, when I was like really young, I had my 3DS, and it was I we it was at the time when like we were like uber poor. We were living at my grandma's house, and I like I really wanted Sonic Lost World for some reason. I'm not even a Sonic fan. I don't like Sonic, but I was like oh, I need Sonic Lost World, but we had no money, so I played that demo for Sonic Lost World. I uninstalled it and reinstalled it like 400 times. I like, did at least, that so much when we played the shit. Of Sonic Lost World, just like just the, the first same, level. Like, level. Yeah, the first level, and I became like a master. You could put me on the 3DS version of Sonic Lost World right now. I could probably do it flawlessly. <laughs> That's it's, so it's, funny. I do that so often with the 3D, uh, not the 3DS, uh, the Wii U, because mm -hmm. they give it so many demos. I did that a shit ton of the Splatoon demo on the Wii U. Oh my god. That's um, crazy. I used to go to Play and Trade, and I had like a rent a game card, and I could rent a game <laughs> oh, for dude. a week. 
So I just got used to like speed running every game I got <laughs> from there. That's awesome. No, I, I think I, I got Splatoon and I beat it in like two days. I got a. Uh, yeah, that's where I actually got my Sonic Lost Worlds copy from a play and trade. Because I, I was going on like a road trip with my dad and we stopped at a play and trade because he was checking some games out. Mm -hmm. And then I saw Sonic Lost World on the shelf and I was like, can I get that? And he was like, yeah. That's where I got my copy of Ratatouille for the DS. <laughs> Ratatouille for the and DS. And Bolt and Up. I had all the fucking movie games. I've got my my like D, my DS. Uh, no, I didn't have here. Turbo, sadly. You have your DS here. My my DS like thing with all the obscure games, but oh, I have yeah. all these like I have all the normal games. But here's two that stand out to me. One I can't find, but I will. I have Call of Duty Black Ops, and the <laughs> other one is is Wipeout Two by Activision. I also yeah. had Call of Duty Black Ops for my DS when I was a kid. So bad. It was so, so bad. bad. I remember but, but doing the uh, the training at the when you first open the game. They have to do so shit. I also have Plants vs Zombies here for the DS. So cool. Huge. Sick. Leland has the physical Dude. copy of Angry Birds for the PS3. It's true. I can prove it right now, even. Insane. I gotta find it though. I don't feel like going up to find it, but one of these days, mark my word, <laughs> it will be on camera. No, I remember. Um, I only, actually only to this day I only have three three uh three DS games, and my physical uh hands that I can hold. I've lost all the rest. I think. Mm. I have Pokemon Pearl, Pokemon Sun, and then Gravity Falls, the video game for 3DS by Ubisoft. Damn. Or by Disney. Or no, it is by Ubisoft. I Massive. physically collected every single game I ever got. I didn't. I never got any digital games because I was worried I was just going to like break my system and they'd be gone forever. I did before. <laughs> I did it when so I was younger awesome. as a kid. But then when I got my blue 3DS, I started doing digital because I didn't have a game. I didn't really know any game stores. I'm going to go look at my Wii game stupid. collection and see if there's anything stupid that stands mm -hmm. out. My dad would always tell me that if a blackout happened, I would lose all of my downloaded games, which just isn't <laughs> true. <laughs> that's so funny. That's awesome. That's, like, that's just not true, even a little bit. So Dude, I don't know that's why he ever so said that. I forgot your dad funny. was awesome, Leland. That's so funny. I mean, he is Lebowski from The Big Lebowski. He is. Does, did all of your parents do the thing where they eat, like ate a bit of your food and said, check if it's poison? Yep. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All the time. I'd go. I'd bones. go to a restaurant, and my dad uh, would like to have a piece of my food and be like, "Just check it if it's not poison." And then me, being a stupid fucking kid, would be like, "Okay." Instead of <laughs> instead of being like, "Oh, you fucking idiot! You're taking some of my fucking food." <sighs> you are yeah, retarded, you son of a bitch. Uh, but my my dad still would will do that. He he'll, still he'll does like, that. Sometimes, yeah, yeah we'll, we'll get like KFC. And he'll and he'll like take one of my pieces of popcorn chicken or something, and he'll be like, "Oh, chicken over poison." <laughs> it's all in good fun. He'll like wiggle his fingers over the box and shit, like ready to prowl. <laughs> Real ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, we're talking about our parents doing the thing where they take some of you and your, some of your food and say they're checking if it's poison. Oh yeah, my family never did that. Really? One time on Halloween though. Um, my mom took all of my candy because she thought there was gonna be poison in it. And I never got it back. I never. Oh, really? I don't know where that candy uh, was. When, when I was a kid, I uh, my parents had this thing called the candy tag. So after ha uh, Halloween, they'd get like a bit of my candy. Nah. And I was like, that's chill. They stopped doing that when I turned like ten. But like until my parents I just like went through my candy to take everything good, and then gave me like the Mike and I or the, thing, the fucking like, milk duds. When you have a like a kid, when your kids like. Oh, like that's, not... a, that's a candy factory, dude. Yeah, no, okay, when your kid is, like, until they're, like, five, you just get their candy every time you take them trick-or-treating. Because they ain't eating that shit. So you just yeah, get no, to they, have that. They're, it's gonna rot their they're, they're too busy their eating, skull. like, skulls and stuff. <laughs> yeah. That's true. Did you find anything heat in your Wii game collection? Uh, I found Kirby's Epic Yarn. That's awesome. That's heat. It is, um, kind of, um, awesome. Um, you know what I cool. still have? And I also have Epic Mickey, the power of two. I have uh the Sonic Ultimate Genesis collection. And I have a case for it that I custom made myself as a kid. Oh 
Oh shit. I did I put like a drawing of Sonic on the front with the title. I put a PS3 logo in the top and a Sega logo. And then on the back I listed the games it included. <laughs> it's so funny to me. I'm trying to like look through the games that I have for like my PS4 to see if any of them are silly, but they're all just good. Because <laughs> silly games are like kind of cut out, like it's like like back when we were kids, we could like find like random shit for the DS and 3DS because pe people mm -hmm. were just making fucking games to try and get into the market. Yeah, like it takes be like make a fucking Ratatouille game and an up game. Like, oh. what the fuck is up for the DS? What do you do in that? Yeah, like, <laughs> you go around and do puzzles, dude. That's is good. is that it? Did you play that yes. as a kid? Yes, so, I did. Uh, I had so. it. You guys know how the PSP had like movies for it? <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, dude. I had Bruce Lee Enter the Dragon for the PSP. That's, That's awesome. I also have a uh, two like PSP discs for Beavis and Butthead. <laughs> oh, whoa, wait. Fuck, I just completely forgot about all the fucking uh, SNES and NES games I had at my Nana's. She had the most, like, bootleg garbage ever. <laughs> like, th Dude, like, a thousand games in there one. There was a... That... Yeah, um, she had, um, Beavis and Butthead, the digital... Uh, not the digital, uh, the fucking physical copy of Beavis and Butthead, and you go around in that game and stomp on people and kill That's them awesome. and hit them with, like, fucking baseballs and shit. It's That's the so best cool. game ever. That's that, so cool. That reminds me of, um, something that happened, like, two years ago on my birthday. I went to my mom's house with, uh, with our buddy Gage, and my, my stepdad, he's, like, a like an avid online shopper like he's really good at it yeah um and he bought this like thousand games of one nes thing and um <laughs> like j just to be like something funny and entertaining gage and i boot this thing up and we find nes angry birds <laughs> yes, <laughs> and, uh, there's, a, there's a video on my old phone i don't have the video anymore but i could probably find the thing but the thing is with that is it's literally just it, it loads up with a low poly version like not low poly but like horribly bit crushed version of the angry birds song <laughs> with like and, and everything is just it's, just it's it's just it's pixelated angry birds with no physics and it's just called angry birds and angry it's on bird bra like it's like it's rough and it's the original build of angry birds too so it's not like any of these any of these like shitty new designs it's like the goofy terrifying design of the old angry bird but pixelated <laughs> that's so awesome where's the I, NES like, bad piggies honestly <laughs> Dude. i like i can't make this I shit up like hard. it blows my mind oh my god as a kid my first ever one of my first ever gaming consoles was a spider-man plug and play that's Damn. heat though did you guys have, have a plug and play? Tank engine. oh yeah i had i had a spongebob plug and play i had a he-man plug and play the spongebob was... ones went so hard he uses the SpongeBob... as a joystick oh it, 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 i had one where he used his fucking so leg nice. as a joystick oh, and his man. eye was a button i had uh the spider-man one where it's just his head on the end of a stick and like the bottom of it mm. they killed it is like <laughs> yeah the bottom it's just, like blue and red with webs on it I don't know if this is, like, a fever dream or anything, but did you guys also have those consoles where it was, like, yellow and purple, and the, uh, fucking Sleep controllers frog. were just, like, fucking two large buttons and wheels? You're talking about Leapfrog, bro. I think I, I know exactly what you're talking about. the big Leapfrog console, yeah. I had a handheld one with the Toe Mater game on it. Uh, but dude, what, Toe Mater. But what happened to my Leapfrog when I was a little kid is, like, for no fucking reason... The screen, like, got, uh, it had, like, pixel death. So there was just an orange splot of dead pixels on my screen. I just <laughs> love that, dude. <laughs> I had a Leapfrog as a kid, and I had the Sonic X for my Leapfrog. I don't, I have, like, I have vague, very, like, I can, like, vaguely remember some games. I remember the Dragon game on my Leapfrog. And Dragon then Ball. It came with it, and then I had the Sonic X cartridge for it. And it was like this weird fucking Sonic game based on the anime, where you just had to, you had to do math and then you'd go to a boss fight. That's and big. It was so weird. I, the main one I played though was the fucking like Old the Pokemon dragon gyms. 
I don't know if anyone remembers the Dragon game, but that's what I played. Yeah, mm. I think that's I think that's called Like a Dragon. It's on the PlayStation. Leland, oh, I, so I, actually, <laughs> I actually had a Diego game for the Nintendo. It was called. PS. Oh, I've just found. You it. had a Diego game for the PS2. I just fucking found Dora it. Dude. It's called Diego. Dragon Kingdom. Nah, that's Diego awesome. and like fucking dragons and shit. Not drag. Uh, dinosaurs. dinosaurs yeah. Like Dino Adventure or something. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Diego's Dino Adventure. <laughs> Pure heat. It was the best game ever. Okay, oh, do you guys? That, it was unironically like amazing. Do you it guys was. think that showing D, uh, Dora the Explorer to a Trump supporter would be like showing Kanye Twenty One Jump Street? Would that be a similar <laughs> thing? Maybe it depends on the episode. If there, if it's an episode with Diego, I, I think so. Well, what I'm saying is Dora's beloved, but she's Mexican, and they wouldn't like that. But maybe. It would remind them of what of what's good in the world, like uh, Jonah Hill did with Kanye West. It's possible. Mm -hmm. It's entirely possible. It's just a hypothesis. Like we can always give it a try. I am, um, as a kid. So did you guys? Did you guys play with Bakuguns as a kid? Oh, yes. I haven't fucked around with Bakuguns. Uh, I was more so of a babe later. There is these off-brand ones as a kid, uh, that my parents would sometimes buy for us because they didn't know like the right ones. Mm -hmm. Uh, and. <laughs> Me and my cousins would get them. Uh, cause I, when I was younger, I used to live with my cousins. And <laughs> we used to have, like, we used to get these ones that we said were cursed. Because whenever we played with them, the person who was using it would puke. Uh -huh. a few, like, uh, like a, a little bit after. And I never got one. And then I remember one day, and, and I'm, I'm honestly pretty sure this is just a huge, like, placebo effect or whatever. But, and then I remember one of the days my mom finally bought me one of them. And I was so scared of it. <laughs> and But it was my new Bakugan, and I didn't want to be rude. So I used it in a game, and I remember later that night, I just kept staring at it, and then I ended up throwing up all over my fucking room. <laughs> was, oh my up. god. That's terrifying. <laughs> it was terrifying. But I'm pretty sure uh, it was like a placebo effect of some sort. Fucking something else I remember from my childhood. I went to Boston Pizza, and we got the calamari. Big mistake. <laughs> yep. It's I was crazy. up it's until like three in the morning, just puking all over my room, <laughs> and I didn't. I was so young, I didn't really understand what was happening. <laughs> so my parents just came in to me, like throwing up everywhere, and they're like, "Dude, <laughs> come on." I felt bad, but also I had food poisoning. Oh, so, that's so funny. I, I, I don't know if I still am as a kid. I, I think it's an allergy thing. I have no idea. But whenever I ate alphagettias or spaghettios, I would throw up. Dude, I love no, I You're not able to eat, like, pizza sauce either, are you? I can. I thought that you couldn't. No, that's, like, that's somewhere else. But I can. But something about them made me throw up as a kid. They still do. Uh, I think. I haven't tried in like a year, but um. Speaking of, sorry. I would eat. I remember, my mom would tell everyone who she let babysit me when I was like as a kid. A lot of times I'd go off with my grandpa for like a week or two, so he took me camping for two weeks, like a little bit, uh, like some like some really nice beach place, and we were staying in his trailer. But he, the only food he had for dinner that night was spaghettios. Oh. Uh -huh. And he forgot that I couldn't eat them, and he made them for me. And me being a stupid fucking kid, I ate them anyway. <laughs> and so I was up all night puking all over his trailer. And he like called my mom and she was really mad. And she's like, you know he can't eat SpaghettiOs. Why did you feed him them? And I was like crying and puking on the floor. You fed him SpaghettiOs, no. <laughs> <laughs> my, mom had to, like, my mom had to like be very clear with everyone I wanted. He cannot eat SpaghettiOs. Do not give him alphagettis. Do not give him ravioli. He cannot eat it. <laughs> it was really funny as a kid. He'll it's die. funny looking back now, but as a kid, whenever I ate it, I would ha I would be the worst day of my life. Um, I remember in the fourth grade, you, me, little Chase, and this and this kid Brody. This was like a long ass time ago, before you even had glasses. We were sitting in our fourth grade class with our old ass teacher, crusty ass teacher. She would give us work for, like, no reason. We were like, this seems like busy work. And she literally said to me, like, she gave me direct eye contact. She was like, it is busy work. We didn't learn shit in that class. <laughs> but but what happened was um, 
No, it was Gavin. Gavin was also there. And we were doing it. We were doing the Charlie Charlie challenge. Oh my none of, none of us Charlie, knew what Charlie, it was. None of us knew what it was. And we were like looking at it and Tanner being the mischievous little bastard he blowing. is. I was blowing. He he was blowing and I was like everybody was believing it. I looked at Tanner and I was like, You're blowing on that, aren't you? And he looked at me and he was like, No, 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 I'm not blowing. I, I I tried to trick myself into believing that he was not blowing to keep the wonder alive. <laughs> no, yeah. Whenever I did that as a kid, I was always the motherfucker blowing it. It, it was so obvious because you were like resting on your hands, like at the same level as the pencil. You were blowing on that shit one hundred percent. Yeah, yeah it, dude. Was so it was so funny. funny. Was that Miss class? No, no, no. no, no. It was Miss. Oh, grade four when we all met. Yeah, dude, that, was, our, that was it was awesome we would like all we would do in that class is just like ignore the work and play we we had a cinematic universe with our fucking toys dude i had i have like no dude. i have like no memories of anything i learned in that class or any of the work i remember tanner gave me a uh, lego spider-man and it had webs oh yeah i do remember put on that. Its hands. What was big were the Bok Choy Boys and the Minecraft yeah, little the figurines. Bok Choy Boys. Bok Choy Boys, dude. Those were big. Those I remember big. going to a fucking yard sale, and there was just a gigantic bag of Bok Choy Boys, and dude. I was the shit back then. I didn't then, have that. Because I, I, I had, like, every Bok Choy Boy. I had, like, zero of them, and then I started collecting them. I only had, like, seven, I think. Dude, it's because every so time big. I'd always go shopping to at Walmart with my mom, and they'd have them in those little like uh, dispenser machines for like a buck or two, and then I'd mm-hmm. be like, I was like, Mom, you, I need this. You don't understand. I need this for school. I need it. And I, she'd give me the money, and I'd go buy one. I had hardly any because like my mom and I, the one thing we would do together back then because we were because she was like, they were uber like uber poor back then. We lived in a trailer park. We would go to the, we would go to the swimming pool because that was the only cheap recreational thing ever. Yeah. And we went out of the house a lot for reasons that I won't say because it's a, a kind-hearted podcast here. But I would like get on my hands and knees and beg her after we were <laughs> done swimming to get a bok choy boy, and it was like, it was in ninety percent of the time it was no, but the one time, like the one time in a hundred that I would get a bok choy boy, I would cherish that shit. I, I never want, like. Uh, it was like the Mo- Monty Python's holy grail to me was getting the the dollar for a bok choy boy and, and these retarded kids whenever I was at the vending machine would come over with their hands cupped giving me puppy dog eyes I, and like beg me for money and I was a little kid too I was like what are you doing <laughs> who is gonna fall for this okay. I was the I was the motherfucker who made people fall for that I will be your best friend if you give me this <laughs> thank you goodbye I will never talk to you again. It's so silly, dude. <laughs> okay, this reminds me of a story that I heard that I got from another friend. Gavin knows this because we're in the same class. It was, it's from you know you guys know Rowan. Oh uh, God, he, oh, Gavin wait, knows what I'm gonna tell. I'm gonna talk I about. Gonna he talk used about to that. have this like group of kids. He would make do things for him, like give them like some of his lunch or like things he wanted. It he wasn't a group of kids. It was one kid. It was here. one kid. <laughs> and he would say that an evil dragon lord like took over his body <laughs> and, he would say, and he convinced him that there's an no evil dragon way. lord that took over his body Bro, that's me. and me. he would use that to take shit for the kid like like some shit from his lunch that's or like a small beautiful. toys that he had like he Beauty. he was still friends with the kid and he'd play with him but it was very he he, he would sometimes pull the like I'm currently being possessed by the dragon lord. <laughs> <laughs> he is taking over. <laughs> yeah. He's taking it, over. It's so funny. The only way to appease the great dragon lord is that fruit roll up. <laughs> 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 okay, okay, guys. Uh, like... the... Okay. Did you like fruit by the foot or fruit roll ups? Oh, fruit, fruit roll, ups. roll up, fruit roll up. The fruit roll ups were more expensive, so I would get fruit by the foot. But on the occasion when you went to Subway, they had fruit roll ups. Oh, I remember in that. The lunch bu- so that's the only time I'd ever have them. And I cherish those Johns. Dude, they were so much better. They were so much better. So much better. <clears throat> oh my god, yeah. I kind of want to try the Starburst uh, fruit by the foot that are out. 
but like, that fire? exists. Yeah, <clears throat> it's good. pink starburst fruit by the foot. Hand it over, pal. Okay, that sounds like it could be good. It might be good, but it also like might be dog shit. Dude, no, because there's a similar consistency. Yeah. Yeah. They gotta be. They're just sugar paste. I remember You're as a kid, paste. I really didn't want to get my glasses in like fifth grade when I had to get glasses. Yeah, because glasses I was are like, for nerds. Exactly. That's that's what I told my mom. I was like devastated. I I was like my I, I realized well, no. I didn't know what was happening to me. Dude. I just was kind of like couldn't see the board at school, and I was like, oh, it's kind of weird. And I was like, oh, you probably need glasses. And I'm like, no, I don't need glasses. No, it's probably just like my eye was probably just tired. So I went to school the next day. I still couldn't see the board, and she's like, I think you need glasses. And I was like, I was like begging my mom not to get me glasses. I was like on my hands and knees begging. And then I remember when she told me I had to get glasses, I literally didn't leave my room for, like, five hours. I was so <laughs> upset. Tanner, um, that reminds me. Remember your auntie's old resort? Yeah. We were playing on the floor once, like, with our toys and stuff, continuing the cinematic universe. And you were, and I was, like, pointing to something in the kitchen. You couldn't see it. No. And your mom was like, and your mom was like, you might need glasses. <laughs> and the, and the, you know, look on your face. I will never forget it. <laughs> Dude, I, I was so desperate drop. not to have glasses, cause I was like, no, glasses are for like losers, and like I'm, I was, I was so, I was like, I'm gonna get made fun of at school. I don't want glasses. I was so desperate. I remember, cause the next time I went to that resort, I was sitting on the porch with my mom and my auntie, and they were talking about it, cause my mom already booked the eye appointment, and I was so upset. I was just sitting there silently. The and, look on your fucking face. And then I finally went to go get my glasses, and I remember doing the appointment, and I remember my mom being like asking the doctor is it because of his phone or no it was because of the tv in the video games and the doctor's like no and she's like oh <laughs> what did he what did he say that you cut out a little he just said no the hero the goat uh but yeah and then i got my glasses and it was kind of chill now you can push them up mid-conversation when I you want to i still i actually need new glasses i should be getting like new glasses in like a week are they gonna look really cool? Uh, they're gonna be the exact same as my current pair. I didn't get oh new frame. I don't God. usually get new frames, man. I don't like to change the skin. I don't like to change the customization that often. I really Tanner, hope the... That the lenses are like five inches thick. <laughs> they might be. I'd be huge. You know when I, I when I first that, got um, my glasses, I was really that'd upset be about terrifying. it. Terrifying. And my mom told me, "Oh, you're only gonna need them for a little while. Your eyes will get better. My eyes have gotten worse since then." I've been yeah, Tanner, you're every year. You're developing big, massive cataracts. By next oh, year, probably. you'll be blind. You'll be completely blind. Yeah, I, I, I've only changed my frame for my glasses twice in my life. I used to have, like, these uh, ones that were a bit, like, thinner. And they had, like, a red streak on them. Yeah, the iconic red streak. And then when I was, I think, 14, I went to an appointment. And then I asked for a different one, which is my current pair that I'm still wearing. My current frame. Mm. And I've been using this frame for, like, four years. It's a good customization option. It is. Okay, it looks I, a lot I'm better. I'm looking on Steam right now, and uh, there's a section called Your Tags, and the first one is Illuminati. <laughs> yes. Yes, dude. What I know you're part of the Illuminati. Illuminati? <laughs> uh, Call of Duty Zombies, actually. Lords Mobile. What was I... I was going to say something, but I couldn't remember. Cars? Cars. <laughs> Disney Pixar Cars? That's yeah, awesome. I need it. Fidget spinner? Yippee! Oh, did, did any of you guys have the D the Scooby Doo DS game? Yeah, I nah. did. Oh my god, I loved that, that game was so, so much. It was so much fun. I I can't remember if it was no okay. Yeah, this is it. Yeah, I remember this game. I played it so much. I don't remember which one I had though. I think I had. I think I had first frights. It was like based on the movie. And I remember there's this one platforming level I lost my mind at. I could not beat it for the life of me. Honestly, yeah. a Scooby Doo game as a kid, I'd probably get scared of it. Uh that's ridiculous. You're an idiot. <laughs> Come on, oh, dude. I'm an idiot. Gotcha, I think Leo dude. Now would get scared of it. Why yeah. does it sound like Nathan's being smothered with a I pillow? I can't like show you a man being beheaded ah! and he's not. And he's gonna be like, "Oh, that's kind of messed up, man." <laughs> a guy getting beheaded by ISIS on camera. 
<laughs> I love beheading on people on camera. Um, my best friend John Isis. You know, that's like a way. Of... <laughs> so Tanner, uh, what are you gonna put over us talking? Are you gonna put like? Uh... I'm not putting. I'm not gonna put like subway service gameplay over it. No, 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 it's not subway service. But are you gonna put anything over us talking? You, uh, you should put like snitch. a movie clip underneath it. No, I didn't. Yeah. I'm probably just gonna put like a screen that I'm gonna make over it. I might draw us all little icons. I don't know. That'd be badass. If you make my icon, can it... you base it on Dead Eye, Gavin? Yeah. <laughs> if you do the icon thing, I can make my own if you want. No, I was just gonna like draw what's up in MS Paint, but if you have a suggestion. <laughs> and but you should think... play, put Sneaky Snitch, the song. I'm not putting, no, I'm not putting Sneaky Snitch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna do that. I'd well, you guess. will, actually. No, it would make us look what's completely What's the opening gonna be? What do you mean, what's the opening gonna be? What's the opening to our podcast? I just it's like uh, an anime opening, right? No, it's just not gonna be an anime opening. Do you guys want to record a rock song for the podcast? <laughs> I'm not recording. What? You guys are going song. crazy. Hang on, guys, shut up. Come on, just shut up. I feel up like on. an anime opening would go hard. For us. I'm, not putting, I'm not doing an anime opening. It'll make us look like losies. What if it's like Naruto? Dude, like, so, like if, I, if there's the an anime opening, okay. some like cool kid with like slicked back hair and a leather jacket will start watching, and then as soon as the anime opening, so I have to be like, I didn't know I was watching the loser cast. Jeez. Oh, Welcome yeah. to the loser lounge where the emojis that never get used hang out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I watched that movie like a while, like a few months back because my cousin was watching it at my house. They don't even movie. know we're the fard podcast. We're not the fard. We're not going to be the fard. <laughs> I refuse. The fard I'm just like retarded demons. No. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, but you guys fine instead of demons we can do demigods i know that you're do you guys know the but... uh, difference between effect and affect uh yeah effect well it's spelled differently to you. what's that Kevin? effect is something that happens effect is something that happens that's big gavin's right Think about it Tanner, I'm, I'm, I'm curious what is on your list of topics I already used them all. Oh. <laughs> so what do you guys think about fishing? <laughs> okay, actually, I got one. Yeah. Um, When you guys go to, like, okay, let's say McDonald's, because it's the most basic. What is your exact order that you get, like, Our most exact times? exact order? Yeah. At McDonald's? Yeah. I literally mm. just grab a McChicken meal. Just, like, a simple McChicken meal, and that's it. Depends what, what kind of mood I'm in. What kind of drink? Yeah, what, what kind of drink? I switch between, be I, I, I switch between iced tea and Coke. And sometimes That's I'm feeling a little risky. If it's like a hot day, maybe I'm a little... Some or maybe something like that. Maybe I'll get a milkshake if I'm feeling it. Oh, yeah, that, that's valid. Uh, my usual order is a pancake combo with a quarter pounder and cheese, a six-piece McNugget, <laughs> and two drinks. Big Smoke took his mic for a second. <laughs> I usually like to like put the pancake uh, in between the burger and make like a uh, sandwich. Then I ask you something. Yeah. Is this genuine? Yeah. <laughs> I have That's gotten a this lot multiple of food. times, and if uh, I usually get it, That's a lot of I, food. I don't usually go. I don't usually go to McDonald's. I eat a lot. Okay. I thought that was true. You are a big eater, as but uh, like, if I had I had to eat that, I would die. Okay, nah. better question. What's your exact Wendy's order? Exact Wendy's. Oh, order? Wendy's. Oh, taco salad, probably two spicy chicken uh, wraps. If I can fit it in there, probably like a double Dave combo. Okay. <laughs> and maybe an Asiago burger if I'm feeling frisky. Three spicy chicken wraps, three junior bacon cheeseburgers, and a large drink. What kind of drink? Changes. Okay, what I get every time, this is like my favorite order. I get the spicy chicken, no tomato, with uh, like the combo, usually medium, because like the small is a little too small, and the medium is like getting a large. And so like, and then I and then I get the value menu, the value meal six piece nuggets with the ghost pepper ranch. That shit's so good. 
Oh, the Ghost Pepper Ranch is so And then, good. and then I get Pib Extra with like the cherry flavoring in it. That's my one of my Okay, completely unrelated. Like, since I've met Nathan, he used to come to my house all the fucking time. Uh, like almost you need every other, about... like every other, like every week, he'd show up at least maybe once or twice. And usually, about halfway through the time he's we're hanging out at my home, he would go into my kitchen and then he would make like three meals in my kitchen <laughs> and then eat it all in front of me in like five, like a minute. <laughs> like I specifically Whoa. remember one time around my house, he made hot pockets and with three waffles and then a sandwich, and then a a drink, and then he refilled the drink and drank another one. Jesus Christ! <laughs> if I if I'm at your house and I get hungry and you say I can eat anything, I, I do want. say that it's because I have a lot of food at my house. Uh, one time I had uh, I think it was Leland. Uh, Joey and Gage over at my house, and Leland bought a noodle bowl from the store. Oh, this, is rough. <laughs> this is rough. And no. you know, he got a little hungry. We were hanging out on my deck. It was a really nice night. The stars were out. It was warm. We were hanging out on my deck under an umbrella. My porch had lights all along. It was really oh, no. comfy. Really nice porch. Anyway, Leland Shout goes inside to, to make his uh, noodle bowl. And you know it's it's a usual. Nate Leland's made them a hundred times over. He could not fail. He puts it in the microwave, starts it up. He comes He's outside, sits back down. We go back to talking. We're in really good conversation. Really good back and forth. My mom pokes her head out because she's in the living room and our kitchen's like connected to our living room. And she pokes her head out and says, "Hey, when are you cooking something? It smells like something's burning." And we go inside. And Leland opens the microwave, and he put his noodle bowl with flavoring in it, without water, into the microwave on oh, high for yeah. four minutes or something. And my, minutes. And, minutes. and my entire house was smoked out. We had to open every door and window for like four hours. It looked like a nuke went off in the bowl. It looked I opened like the a lid. Nuke went off. <laughs> <laughs> I, I opened the lid and black smoke came out. I, 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 I didn't say because I didn't want to incriminate myself further. But, like, it was rough. Yeah, it was really oh, funny. God. And, and we, like, none of no one was mad, also. Everyone thought it was really funny. Uh, my mom still makes fun of Leland for it but to this day. Mm-hmm. And it's, it, so, it was. <laughs> He smoked that. He smoked at our house, and so our microwave that we had since until we moved out still smelled like that noodle bowl. Really? Yeah, it still smelled like it. If you like get your, if like stuck your nose in there and sniffed, you could still smell it. Dude, what about the new family that lives there? I wonder if they brought their microwave or if it's still a relic. <laughs> it could still be a relic, and uh, that that's just a memory that always sticks out to me. It's just, I remember it specifically too pouring water in it and then Leland dumping it out. Into like onto our, I don't into like the garbage. It oh, was it was rough. <laughs> it was really rough. You know what's you know what else is rough? What the fact that we have to end so soon. No! Oh, he's hurt. <laughs> he's he's so hurt. Thank you guys for watching the first episode. Uh, well, first episode of us of our of the far of the, the, of the, of the no, it's not called that, dude. The fart well, it's more, it's more like a season two, I guess, of mm-hmm. the of the original run. Okay, I, I just have one thing to say. Yeah. If you guys have any name ideas for the podcast, <laughs> put them in the comments. Put them below. in the comments below. Uh, this probably won't come out until we actually come up with our name. Or yeah, reach or... us at this email. Editor, put the email on screen. We talked at screen. Fardcast at uh, We're not the Fardcast. Fardcast at gmail.com. Uh, fardcast at Nah, we gotta do Hotmail. Mm, maybe Outlook? Maybe. Fardcast on uh, at iCloud.com. Ooh, that's big. Samsung.com. That's big. It's huge. Yeah. Uh, so thanks for watching. what's our anime outro? We don't have an anime outro.